up guys it's Kelsey here today and my goal is to do a complete guide on every species of bird you can own as a pet so if you're doing your research and you really are interested in a parrot but you don't know which parrot to get my goal is to go over as many species of parrots as I can because I've been I've done over three years of research of on birds so hopefully I can bring that to the table and explain each species in depth and what they're like from my research and also being around those birds so I hope you guys enjoy I'm gonna start with the, the smaller birds and go to the larger birds all right the first parrot that I'm gonna go and explain is the cockatiel so Cockatiels can live about 25 years. Some people say less or more, but I would say that's a really good average. They are from Australia and they are considered a least concern on if, on the endangered list, I guess. So there, there are plenty of them in the wild. They are great whistlers, actually amazing whistlers. They're not very good talkers, but they they can talk and it's really cute it's like little like talks it's it's adorable they are sweethearts and great first bird pets they bond with you they're not ginormous they're sweet and just overall great i had a cockatiel for about 17 years and i know cockatiels really well and they're an amazing first bird uh first parrot and they are there are so many different morphs of cockatiels you can get latino cockatiels you can get albino cockatiels cockatiels come in all shapes and sizes and you need a the larger the cage the better but a medium cage is fit for a cockatiel all right the next bird i want to go over is the budgies these are the birds that you see at PetSmart and people take them for granted pretty much and it's kind of sad but let's go over the budgie the average lifespan is 10 years and i recommend that if you get a budgie you get multiple budgies so one or two to four um if you get just one budgie make sure you give it a lot of attention and that you have a you can have a smaller cage if you have one budgie a medium for two or three and then go up to a large for four plus and they're from Australia and they are considered a least concern on the conservation status in the wild. Um, I think I mentioned they're from Australia already, but budgies are really good beginner birds. In my opinion, they're not very one-on-one -on, -one on you like they are with like cockatiels or any other smaller birds. And they're better just for birds to look at, especially if you get a bunch of them. Um, budgies don't bond you like a lot of other parakeets will but and they play with each other really well and they're very easy birds to take care of that being said you need to get a flock of budgies for them to be very happy or you have one parakeet budgie and you take it out every day and interact with it all right the next bird i want to go over is the mustache parakeet also known as the red breasted parakeet they're from the southeast asia like the himalayas area they live for about 25 to 30 years they're beautiful and they're sexually dimorphic that means that the male you can distinguish the males from the females the males have the orange beaks and the really red beautiful colors on their belly and everything and the females have black beaks and are a little bit more green and purple so that's how you kind of know they so they do live for about 25 30 years and they're not they're considered not threatened in the wild they're not of least of concern but they're not threatened so they're good to go and they're really great beginner parrots and actually some mustache parakeets are great talkers some don't talk at all it just depends on the bird you get all right so we will have the indian ringneck this is a really common uh parrot and how you can really distinguish them is that the vast amount of colors they come in they have really long tails and they're very much so related to the mustache parakeet the, they're sexually dimorphic the males have a ring on their neck neck and the females don't 
They can come in yellow, blue, purple, green, and white also. There's a lot of different colors that Indian ringnecks can come in. They live for 25 to 30 years, so a long lifespan. They're considered the least concerned in the wild. They range from Africa to East Asia. So there's a really, like right on the equator, there's a big old band of them. Very good beginner pets, and they are very good talkers. A lot of them are amazing talkers, and you can Google some YouTube videos on them. They're adorable. This one is the Conyers. They're actually really common, medium-sized parrots that people keep. And there are a lot of different species of Conyers. I can't even go over them if I wanted to. I believe Conyers come from South America, don't quote me on that. I think it depends on what type of conure. Most conures live 25 to 30 years, and you do see them at some kind of retail pet stores. The most common type is the sun conure, and it is threatened in the wild. There's also the green cheek conure, the nende conure, conure the, red, the peach fronted conure, the, let's see, there's the pineapple conure, there is the jende conure, there's the blue crowned conure. So that is just a very small bit of conures I've mentioned. Some of them are not threatened at all and some of them are threatened or considered to be endangered. So really think about the bird that you're getting. And they live on average 25 to 30 years. But if you get like the blue crowned conure, those can live up to 50 years. So it really just depends on what conure you get. And there are, some of them are very loud. Sun conures are extremely loud and they will scream for your attention. So be really aware of that. There's also a red mask conure. My suggestion for conures, because I can't go over all of them and I'm most familiar with the green cheek conure and the sun conure. Um, my suggestion is to Google sun, or conures and look at all the different species of conures and look at the one you're most interested in and go and do your research on YouTube of that specific conure. So conures can range anywhere from $300 all the way up to $1,000 depending on what the type of conure it is. My suggestion is the medium cage or a large cage. Bigger the better. The blue crowned conure, you will need a large because it's a larger type of conure. Same with the golden conure, that is a larger type of conure. So, and it, that conure goes for thousands of dollars. So, sorry, my bird's talking. So really look into what conure you want, how much money are you, you're willing to spend on it, and everything like that. Okay, the next bird I'm gonna go over is the lorikeet. There are, just like conures, there's so many different types of lorikeets, which is really fun. There's the scaly-breasted lorikeet, the green naped lorikeet, the black lorikeet, lor, lorries, <laughs> sorry, there's lorries and lorikeet. Lorikeets are a little bit smaller. The most popular is the rainbow lorikeet. You see those in zoos a lot. I also post a picture of that one. The musk lorikeet, the black wing lorikeet, the black headed, black capped lorikeet, blue streaked lorry, they're a dusky lorry. There are so many types of lorries and lorikeets. Again, you're just gonna have to look at all the species. Uh, the prices range anywhere from 300 to the thousands, of course, depending on the lorikeet or lorry, lorry. Most of them are from Australia and some of them are from South Wales. It just depends on the species. The most common is the, calm down, the most common is the rainbow lorikeet, lorikeet, and they are from Australia, and they live 25 to 30 years. On average, lorries and lorikeets live 25 to 30 years, some longer, some less, it depends on the species. From my experience, lorries are super sweet, they're great talkers, they love nectar. Nectar is a lorries and lorikeets favorite thing. They love them and sometimes you see these type of birds in zoos and I don't know if they're endangered, threatened, or not at least concern. Uh, I don't have information on that but they are great first parrots. Some of them, not all, not all lorikeets and lorries, but the rainbow one is... yeah and I don't know how loud they are either, but that is my bird.
Okay, next one. Next type of bird is, of course, the kaik. This is the bird I have. This is the black-headed kaik. She will live 30 to 40 years, and um, they are least concerned in the wild. They're from Brazil or South America. There are different types of kaiks. She's a black-headed kaik. There's also the white-bellied kaik. There's also the green-thighed kaiks, and she's of a least concern. I believe the white bellies are um, a least concern as well, and then the green thighs are considered to be threatened. So they do live for a long time, and I have an entire video on my channel on kaiks. So if you're interested about learning more about this species, oh yes. <sighs> I have a complete video on my channel that I will link below in the description if you want to check that out. She is a joy and I love her to death. This is the bird I decided to get. Of course, I met her in person and she is crazy. So let's continue. Hey, so the first one of the larger birds that I am going to introduce is the macaw. The macaws are very big, probably one of the largest parrots that you can get in captivity. They're from South America in the Amazon rainforest. A lot of macaws are in fact endangered. Some of them are not. My personal favorite is the blue and gold macaw. They are gorgeous. And I've done a lot of research on the blue and golds. They are the clowns of the macaws and just truly a joy. There are also other species of macaws such as the scarlet macaw, which is known to be a little bit more aggressive, but also a sweetheart. The green winged macaw, which is known to be like a scarlet, but instead of the yellow on its wings, it has the green on its wings. The hyacinth is known to be the gentle giant which is the largest breed of macaw and has a very specialized diet and goes for thousands of dollars, like um, $13,000 on average just to get a hyacinth. And um, basically is the king bee of macaws. And then we have, um, I went over the military macaw, I believe, but it has a little red front on them and the rest is green. They also have the hybrid macaws, and they are a mixture between the blue and gold and the scarlet or the green wings. A ruby macaw is the mixture between a scarlet and a blue and gold. A harlequin macaw is the mixture between a green wing and a blue and gold. So you really need to look, if you're interested in a macaw, look at all the different species there are and know that macaws are very loud and can live for 80 plus years. I've seen macaws live into the hundreds. Currently, there was a post on Facebook of a 92 year old macaw. So, and when I mean loud, I have been in person with a blue and gold. It makes your ears hurt. And that was only like an hour of spending with a macaw and it gave me a headache, which is fine. Macaws are great pets, but know that they are extremely loud. Some aren't. But naturally in the wild, you, macaws are meant to be heard from two miles away for their flock calls. So definitely take that into consideration. What is going on with you? She's really nippy every time I take a video. She's not usually like this. So, okay, next one. All right, the next one is the cockatoo. Many people think that when you say cockatoo, there's only one type of cockatoo totally wrong. There's so many different species of cockatoos. All are from Australia. Of course, they're from different parts of Australia. I'm going to mention one of my favorites is the palm cockatoo. The palm cockatoo goes for about $18,000 and is considered to be endangered. Not something most people get, but it's a really magnificent animal. Then you have the umbrella cockatoo. Umbrella cockatoos are known to be the cuddliest of all parrots and really a pleasure. Most cockatoos can live 80 to 100 years old, just like macaws. And then you have the rose-breasted cockatoo, which is really beautiful and has obviously a rose breast and a smaller crest. They're crazy. They, they also like to chatter. They're smaller-sized cockatoo. 
Then you have the sulfur crested cockatoo, which is uh, basically has the gold crest and is, is a good size. Then you have the lesser sulfur crested, which is a smaller form of a sulfur crested cockatoo. You also have um, blah, blah, blah. you have the mulacan cockatoo, which is also the peach, the peach fronted cockatoo. Okay, whoa. Where did that come from? Peach fronted cockatoo and the mulacans are known to be one of the loudest parrots that there is. So really look into that. And most cockatoos cost about $2,000. Now the palm cockatoo, like I said, is one of the most expensive parrots to get. There are many species, species of cockatoos and I did not mention all of them. But it's one of those like conyers, like macaws, and like lorikeets and such, there are many different types of this species. And you cannot just go with just the umbrella, just the mulacan, just the rose-breasted. You need to look at every different type of cockatoo. Most cockatoos in general, this is not right for every cockatoo, are very cuddly and the most emotionally dependent birds. They really want to be with you at all times. And also they are known to pluck. So it's actually, they are very emotionally dependent and intelligent, and they will pluck when they're not happy or satisfied with their life. And there's so, the amount of parrots out there that are cockatoos that are at rescues are in mass amounts because they're loud birds, they're very emotionally independent, and are dependent, and a lot of money and a lot of work. And you need a very large cage for this type of bird and you need a lot of time in your life for a cockatoo. People want a cockatoo and don't even think about what it takes and then it, they all end up in rescues. If you truly want a cockatoo, rescue one because they will live 90 years and so many people don't take care of them properly. So really do your research on what type of cockatoo you want uh -huh. she agrees with me and please look into rescues because they're such long living creatures and require a lot of time and effort right, the next one i want to go over is the amazon so like cockatoos and many other types of birds there are many different types of amazon's parrots there's the turquoise fronted amazon the yellow headed amazon the yellow crown amazon the orange wing Amazon, the yellow naped Amazon, the red lord Amazon, the Cuban Amazon, the lilac crown Amazon. There's so many types of Amazon parrots. Do your research. But in general, if I really were to narrow it down, Amazons are amazing talkers, especially the yellow headed and yellow crowned Amazons. They live for 80 plus years and are highly intelligent. Um, they almost level up to the talking ability of an African gray parrot. So Amazons are one of my favorites and just like cockatoos are most are rehomed way too often. And it's really sad. Amazons are also really into plucking. And the reason why is because it's just the feather type they have and most Amazons are mistreated and not taken care of properly. And so they are pluckers like cockatoos and they often do pluck um, because they are extremely intelligent and aren't taken care of properly. Amazon parrots are from the Amazon, so South America, and do require a lot of work and is not considered to be a beginner um, parrot really, but it really just depends on what your lifestyle like is like and what parrot's right for you and that is pretty much it but the amazon is definitely a amazing parrot it's not as big as the um the macaws but it is a medium to larger size parrot lastly i want to go over the african gray parrot now this parrot is threatened it is endangered excuse me it's because it's have a massive wave in the pet trade. There's this video called Alex that came out and it was an African gray parrot and everyone wanted one because African grays are extremely intelligent.
okay? They're from Africa, and there's usually two common types of African grays, the timid gray and the Congo gray. The timid gray is a little bit darker in the feathers than the Congo, and they're both extremely smart and amazing talkers. The level of vocalization is there with an Amazon or better. Um, they're also very one-to-one -one parrots. They want one-on-one -on -one time. They are very beautiful in their own way, even though they're gray. And they live up to 50 years and are a huge commitment. And as I say, adopt dump shop, it's really sad that these animals are endangered in the wild now because of the pet trade. Um, African greys are not beginner parrots and require a lot of mental stimulation because they are extremely intelligent and African greys do pluck, okay? And it tends to be the more intelligent this species is, and I forgot to say that macaws do pluck. The more intelligent the bird species is, the more likely they are to pluck because they're lonely, bored, need mental stimulation, etc. So the African gray does go in that standard. If you cannot, or in that category, if you cannot take the time, effort, if you don't have the money for toys, if you just don't have you don't need to get this type of parrot. It is extremely intelligent. And there have been cases where African greys have actually solved murder cases because it would quote back the murder scene to the investigators. That's how smart it was, so, or they are. So really taking Kadir consideration with an African grey, Amazon, Macaw, or anything of the sort. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Um, to, to put it into short, I I went through as many parrots as I could. There are more parrots out there, don't get me wrong. I even didn't even mention the Pianus, which is another type of smaller, medium-sized parrot. Uh, so you can do your research on that. You know, I, I can't just fit every bird in this video, but I, I really put out there the really common uh, good variety types of birds there are out there. The last bird that I will not go over because I know nothing about is a pianus, and I will write down this pianus. That's how you spell it, and you can check out that type of parrot too. Um, I have done my best to go over all the parrots that I can, and if you really like this video or want to know more about a certain parrot, I really recommend that you do your research separately to get more in depth on a parrot that you're interested on, and also realize that parents, parrots, sorry, parrots are not easy animals and require a lot of work. If you found this video just interesting or educating, please give it a thumbs up and you're welcome to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos that I post. Thank you for watching guys.